Well, today on uh, Zimmer's channel, we are gonna take a look at the EVAP uh, charcoal canister. Having trouble filling uh, this uh, 2013 Chevy Silverado up. Uh, it's got 60,000 miles. There again, it's pretty dirty. I got one of these on my other videos, a 12, I believe. Uh, same thing, a lot of you have been asking about the clips. Uh, we're gonna go over that. I'm gonna do the full change out. We're gonna go ahead and uh, flush it out with water and blow it out with some air instead of uh, just using compressed air. But here, here's the clips. We're gonna go over that. What you're gonna need, some small, small screwdrivers and uh, just a little bit of ingenuity and get these off. This here uh, center, center vent, these blue tabs, they actually squeeze squeeze together and I might be able to do it here with one hand I'm gonna set the camera on a tripod but see that right there it squeezed together just pull that guy out just like that that one's not too bad this one here goes to your engine uh, that vents the uh, basically pulls a vacuum on this regens the carbon that's in the canister here Pulls all the VOCs, volatile organic compounds, which is your raw fuel vapors. Okay, this next one, this one here is a little bit trickier. What you gotta do is get a screwdriver in and pry, pry down on that guy there. I'm gonna do it with both hands here in a little bit and I'll show you the video. Uh, this one here is not too bad. This, this little piece here is kind of broken, but uh, we can fix, well, we're not going to fix it, but it's already broken. Uh, you can see the tabs broken there. So what we're going to do is end up pulling that guy off. Here, I'm going to set it down and... So what I'm going to do here is try to give you a detailed look here. This clip here is already broken, which is fine. Uh, it's not going to really hurt anything uh, unless you drive through some corn stalks or something. That's probably how this got broken. But this little tab there, if you can get a good shot at it there. So these are supposed to go together like that and pull it off but since it's already broken we're gonna pop a screwdriver on that side just like that you got the tab and then we're gonna give it a good pull may have to twist it right there you go so that's what it looks like right there these are supposed to push together like that, but obviously that one's been broken already. And then it just hooks onto there. Now we're gonna go to the next one here. Okay, one thing you might wanna do is uh, just spray down these fittings with some water. Get some of the dried dust off. Lubricate it a little bit better with some soap and water. Works a lot better. Uh, I'm gonna get this last clip here. It's more of the Bearcats, probably the one everybody has a little issues with. Get two screwdrivers in there, pry a little bit. Well, there, see how easy that goes. I guess if you can get those screwdrivers back here, There's little tabs that got to pop out. Shove that one out. I did that a little bit wrong there at the beginning. Do the same thing on this side. They are very special tabs, I tell you. 
they probably could have done a little bit better job of designing it. Okay, so that tab popped out. So, I'll show you the two tabs here. If the guy wanted to, you could glue that back together. It's not going to really hurt anything. Once they, once they slide in there, it's like a little horseshoe clip. It's not really going to come off. You could probably drive around like this all day long and it wouldn't hurt. You could zip tie it back on, whatever. I'm sure you could buy the clip and the, the hose. But here we go. Uh, take a look in there. See all of our dirt problem. So here's the dirty side. And we're going to go ahead and take this off. 13 millimeter wrench here. And I know I've done this in uh, gravel before, dirt, under a shade tree. Done quite a few of them this way. It's a lot more easy to do it, do it on a lift, but I'm go ahead and uh, pop this guy out. And we get it completely out of here. So we can go over this one more time here. You got your dirty air that's gonna vent through your evap solenoid. Also, this could be bad. You got some wires feeding it. Make sure the wires are all connected up. This goes through here, opens the solenoid, the vent. The vent comes through here. This actually, on this truck, it actually goes up to the fuel nozzle area, but it goes above it. I'll show you that a little bit later. Uh, it's sucking in dirty air. So this is where your dirty air is coming from. It goes through here. It can dry out your solenoid. Your solenoid could start sticking. It could stick closed. There could be all kinds of issues there. So you may have to replace this, but I would go check this out. If your tubes look pretty dirty in there, that could be what's the problem. Then uh, this here, this, this line goes to your engine. That's where it pulls a vacuum from. Pulls a vacuum on it, pulls fresh air through here, then when it's regening, sucking in more dirt. And then this one here is connected to your gas tank. This is where all your vapors go when you start filling it up. If you go ahead and kink this hose off or plug it up, you're gonna have the same issue with uh, filling your tank up. It's gonna keep blowing back out at you. Uh, it's uh, what they call, what I call plug flow design. It's designed to push all, everything down the pipe. That's why the, the filler neck nozzle is pretty pretty small uh, everything's supposed to go through this canister and uh, we'll get it cleaned out here we're gonna try water see how that works out for us okay we're gonna try to clean this out with air first but I want to try to get you a good view of what uh, what the inside looks like here it appears pretty dirty so we're going to go ahead and blow, uh, you know, blow water through there, fill that up with water, see if we can get some water coming out here. It should get a little dust in there, look at it, so you can see all that dirt. That's not the best. You should hear some uh, charcoal rolling around. But we're going to go ahead and give this a try here. See what happens.
push water through about everything here. You can kind of see the dirt coming. Oh, there's a bunch of dirt. Looks like it's actually working pretty good. Like, this is the first time I tried water, but one of the guys on a YouTube video suggested maybe water. And it looks like it might work. What we're going to have to do, though, is flush it out good with air. That looks pretty clean. You can blow on it real easy. Good as new. And now we got the canister all cleaned up. Looks pretty nice. Uh, I did blow quite a bit of air through it. Make sure it was dried out good. It's probably not 100% dry, but over time It'll uh, dry itself out. Uh, I think this is going to work out pretty good this way. As you can see, this truck's been in the cornfield quite a bit, corn stalks. Uh, it's farm truck. It'll it'll do it, but there's a lot of stuff under here that catches. And when you put this back in, just make sure it gets in that back slot on the back side over here. Make sure it don't wiggle back and forth. Go ahead and put your nut back on. I always like to secure it. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and we'll, we'll do the easy one first. Uh, kinda rub your hand in there, make sure you could shoot a little oil on that. Lube that O-ring up, get it back on there. This one's gonna be fine, I'm not too worried about it. The guy was really worried about it. You could, you could take some uh, zip ties and tie it back to the back side here. Here's a, here's an easy one. This guy just clips back on there. Good there. Okay. Here, here's the bear cat. Everybody's got a problem with. Uh, I don't like them either. I don't know why they got to change so many different clips, make different ones. This one just goes on there like that. Going down the road, that, that probably would be fine, but. I don't like to leave it like that. Uh, I'm gonna take these clips, gonna pop it right back in there. Push that one up. You can kind of hear it snap in. I'll push it up with the screwdriver, make sure it's in there all right. It's not coming off of there. What I'll probably do is put a zip tie around here. Show you that here just in a little bit. Finished product. Uh, I'm not even sure. I'm sure you can buy these clips. But, man, I don't know if it's worth it. Okay, this clip here. I determined a zip tie is probably not going to work. I'm going to use a little electrical tape. Should be no problem. All it's got to do is just kind of guarantee that they're not going to pop out. And when you got to do this again in another 60,000 miles, uh, cut that tape off. Still should be there. As long as that hose don't pop off, you should be good. Should be golden. It looks like a brand new one. Okay, last but not least, uh, there's your fuel neck coming down. I'm going to show you where this uh, vent goes. The vent where 
it's got to breathe is right here, this ribbed line. It comes up here, curves around the top. Let's see if we can't get a picture of where, where it's actually breathing. Right up in there, you can see they got some kind of a mesh filter, whatever. Don't look like it's working very well for them. Might be some changes they need to make on these trucks that run out in the dirt. So there's a little overview. When you're filling, all your vapors are going up through here, through there. Then when you're driving, your fresh air gets come in here when it's regening, sucking in dirt. You can see how dirty this is under here. Not a good design at all. They should have ran that up in, I don't know, the engine compartment or something. And there you got it. Uh, evap canister fix. That's, that's how I fix it. I don't want to go buy a brand new one. $500. Who knows what they'll charge you. That's not doing the environment any good either. Buying new ones, throwing them in a landfill. So if you can clean this one out, it's like cleaning a filter out pretty much. Should work. Uh, any questions, try to comment. I will uh, try to get back with you as soon as possible. Been quite, uh, quite a bit of comments. One was uh, on these clips. So uh, don't forget, subscribe. I'll have more. I'm, this weekend I'm actually going to do a 2004 Chevrolet. And uh, it's got the same problem, that canister. We'll see what it looks like. Thanks for watching.